Hi guys. I'm actually using my VHS by hand at the minute. The VHS camera, that is, not the tape. <laughs> uh, this is weird. I'm not used to looking down a, a viewfinder or anything. Anyway. If I could find the lens with my hand, there it is. Right, yeah, there. <laughs> oh, focus. That's the TV. I've uh, been using a monitor for this when I've been sitting in said chair. I right, can find it. There it is. Are we zoomed in or something? Are we zoomed in? We are. There we go. That's better. So there's my chair with my pillow. <laughs> uh, I've been a busy chappy, as you can see. I've moved a lot of my Lego models off of that shelf to put those storage containers up there out of the way because I was sick to death of moving them around on here and it was making everywhere on here look untidy and they were getting in the way so I've got to find a home for all those models on there on top of the TV oh I was playing around yesterday Oop. I just stood on the cat's paw <laughs> anyway, I was messing around yesterday and uh, there's one drawback with this, my finger isn't long enough to hit the um, zoom. But I made a little uh, fire tuck tuck and another tuck tuck behind it. Here a tuck, there a tuck, everywhere a tuck tuck. I couldn't resist. <laughs> anyway, that's what I've been doing today. Sorry about that Nemo. Uh, he does get under my feet, so it was only a matter of, oh, you're in here. It was only a matter of time, you know. Anyway, poor bugger. I didn't stand on it hard. I think he, he didn't yell, but I think he just hissed to let me know. You're on me poor, you bastard. Anyway, I've started to clean up in here as well. Look at this. Look at that. I've got floor to do. I sort of had a bit of a lazy day today. And I've had um, grease trays for my George Foreman in there. Soaking. Yeah. Really, all I've got to do is the cooker. That bit of work top. That bit of work top. Around the sink and the floor. We're, we're good in here at least. Right. Turn that off. Beep beep. Coming through. I swear this actually picks up in the dark better than the digital ones I've had. I actually use this camera for videos more often. Anywho, I haven't done any work on the Saracen yet. Uh, but the green one behind it is done. So uh, I need to take that down, preferably in the morning. And leave it outside uh, at the back so the owner can find it. And I might just stick a little note on it. Um, I'm just saying um, that if, he can, if there's anything wrong with it that I don't know or haven't seen. Because I can't take it for a test ride and I don't want to mess up how he's got all the seat and that set up on it. So, uh, if he'd uh, take it for a test ride and let me know uh, if there's anything not quite working on it, obviously I'll uh, put it right, no problems. Right, I've got some more of them squishy pops there, look at that. Four, well I bought five, but I accidentally picked up one that didn't have a, have the, um, wrapper on it <laughs> so I've now got two flush eyes there's the other one right there um, the other thing I picked up I can find them are these look at these one sweetie bell and one apple bloom and these are made exactly at ah, I'll start again they are made 
out of the exact same stuff as those little squishy pops. Um, oh. You really do need large hands to hold this camera. I've got to hold it like that, I think. That's a bit better. Where's the mic on this thing? No, good. My hand's nowhere near it. Yeah. These are actually um, three pounds each. Like I said, they're made out of the same sort of rubbery stuff as the um, little squishy pops. But they cost a pound more. And they do come in a larger pot as well. And I decided to get a couple of them. And again, I managed to get two different ones. I don't know how I've managed to do this. But I don't seem I don't like to stand either. Come on, you two, stand up. Stand! Thank you. They were on the shelf above my computer there. But uh, right up there with Lyra and my two razors. But uh, they kept falling off. Every time I nudged into the um, computer desk, they'd fall off. Which was annoying. <sighs> Anywho, there's the tripod I got. That's my £5 tripod from the Salvation Army shop. Knew I should, there was a little digital camera in there. Wouldn't have been any good for videos, but it would have been perfect for photos. I knew, knew I should have got it and I didn't. Um, Cause I could have, well, I should have got it when I got this tripod the other week. Never mind. That's the cable that we use to connect to the TV. It's just one of these um, 3.5 mil jacks into two RCA, one white, one yellow. So just video and audio. It doesn't matter with the TV because I'm only using it as a monitor. Uh, mind you, I can set up, you know, the shots using the viewfinder on this. Not a problem. Barry's good on this as well. I have been recording for nearly seven minutes and that battery gauge hasn't actually budged yet. There's a lot to be said for these old uh, VHS camera. Yeah, it's a bit more of a kerfuffle because you don't have a memory card to put your video straight to your computer. You know, I've got to um, rewind the tape, play it back and hit record with the software I've got on that computer. So, yeah, I've swapped the computers around. So I then uh, plug this one in to the camera and sit it on here and... Uh, Oh okay, yeah, that's the other thing it's done. It's also sat on here playing for 12 minutes while um, I put the uh, Lego video I made onto that. I've just got to export it and then uh, put it onto a flash drive and put it onto this PC and then I can upload it. Just what I'm going to have to do with this one. So, Ideally, I don't want to really record for any longer than 10 minutes at the minute on this one. Not that it matters, because... If I'm sat here at this computer, I can just let it play beside me, which is exactly what I did. Just got to turn the speakers off. I don't want them using juice when I don't need them on. You know, he's completely fine, you see. Bless him. Don't get under me feet, you numb nuts. I think he's lucky that I didn't actually put my full weight on. <laughs> Very lucky, because that would have hurt. And I think he would have swore at me a lot more. I mean, that's what I did yesterday as well, some laundry. Laundry day. I've got some nice clean laundry on there, I've got to put that away. Got to find a home for that. That box. I haven't even got anything in it yet. But, uh, that certainly looks better. They're up there, they're out of the bloody way. Really getting on my nerves, they were. <sighs> right. Um, I haven't got any bikes to lock up, have I? Nope, because I haven't used them today. Due to hemorrhoid issue, again. Really start to fucking piss me off, that is. Not you, you dipstick. <laughs> Ah, 
He might want his dish topped up. That might be why he's uh, bugging me. Why is your blood elves over there? Oh, my friend Cat, she popped up yesterday and dropped me off this mixer. And a kettle, which I still haven't used yet. <laughs> I barely use them. The kettle, that is. I'm just going to find somewhere to sit you for a minute. Ooh. I just hit a button. What did the button do? Anything? Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Just while I... Uh, some food in Sir's dish. Gotta put the butter away as well. Ow. Right. Uh, I'm not looking forward to putting my hand in that sink because that water's just going to be uh, full of grease. Oh, now the battery has just started. It's got 500 times zoom. But at least this has got a focus on this. So if I do this, it's not going to do it, is it? Nope. It did it earlier. It doesn't want to do it now. It blurred out while it tried to focus on what was close to it. <laughs> it's not going to do it now. Maybe I hit something on the side here that did it. It's just got easy and custom. I have no idea what they do because uh, um, this didn't come with a manual. This has also got on the side here Fade, BLC, DSE and RAE, whatever the hell they are. I only want to make videos. I don't want to point and shoot things. One disadvantage with a camera like this is it's rather big and bulky. You can't just put it in your pocket and keep it with you. Which is why I'd like another camera just like um, the one that's just crapped out on me. I'm going to fold this tripod up before I uh, trip over it. That TV, you know, I bought that brand new in 2005, and I've had it ever since. But I have noticed one of the buttons, that one doesn't click anymore, so that one's broken. That one does. And the original remote control is rather temperamental. Um, but I use, when I remember, ah, here it is. I was going to say, when I remember where it was, but here it is. Just use one of these all-in-ones on it. Well, that one tuned in. I think I only paid about 60 quid brand new for Out of Lidl's, of all places. Out of Lidl back then. So it's some sort of, you know, off-brand SEG or... I think that's meant to be an S, I'm not sure. I could never work out if that was an S on the front of that or... Um, a J or something. Swap hands. What was like pointing this outside in poor light? Oh, we can actually see things out there. A little bit of reflection there. <laughs> if I did this with that digital camera, nothing would show up. At least not on my screen. But I can actually see shit outside. It's amazing. It's freaking good, man. I suppose if I wanted a digital camera to work like this one, I would need to spend a hell of a lot of money, wouldn't I? A hell of a lot of money I don't have. Anyway, I'm going to shut this video down. Well, I don't think I'll uh, plug it in tonight. I'll probably do that tomorrow or something. Anyway, I'm going to take a seat. And... Uh, Not actually a bad camera to be honest. 
I don't think there's a place on this to put in like an external microphone. I think I've got to make do with the built-in one. Never mind. No biggie. There's buttons on the back here as well. Enter, on, off. Uh, up, down. What does up, down do? Does that do anything? No. Not that I've noticed anyway. So, thanks a lot for watching. As always, if you like the video, then feel free to hit the like button or the dislike button. It's up to you. And uh, feel free to subscribe. Many thanks in advance to anyone who does subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Adios for now.